Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are, whatever time it is, sending you well wishes. Today, I wanted to talk about mindset and some of the challenges that you may have encountered with these practices or with these concepts. If you come from a background of a little bit of trauma or a lot of trauma and some ways that you might work with your being that might help you to use some of these tools, to use some of these ideas a little more effectively. So I came across the concept a while back of the skull brain and the body brain. And in some ways I'm equating brain with mind here. So we often think about mindset as thoughts, as controlling our thoughts. And that's how it's taught a lot of the time. In my experience and in the work that I've been doing, what I've seen happen is that we can think and think and think something, but we might feel something different. And if we can't get these things into alignment, if we can't get these things matching, the feeling is going to take over. This will happen in one of two ways, either no feeling shut down. I'm trying to feel, I'm trying to feel good. I'm trying to feel excited about my life or feel anything, but I'm shut off, I'm numb, a coping strategy. Or I start to feel, I start to go inside, I start to touch on these sensations and it's so intense and it's so overwhelming, I can't do it and I'm not functioning. These are, these are two of the extremes that I've seen frequently in people whose nervous systems have had to deal with so much in the past that they've become overloaded and dysregulated. So I like to think about it not as mindset alone, but as body set as well. If you are simply trying to change things through your perception, through your mind, through the way that you think about things, you lose some of the power of your true being. Neuroception is the way that the nervous system perceives threat or safety and it is way faster than anything else. So you can try to think yourself into these things, but if the nervous system is scanning and feeling something different and it might be reading inside for signals or it might be perceiving things around you or neuroceiving things around you, it's gonna react much quicker than anything you can think. The solution is a boring word, but an exciting experience. It's the concept and practice of regulation. And why I became so excited about this is that it's something very, very empowering that you can do because you bring these things together. When you consciously understand how your nervous system is working, your thoughts and your mind is involved and it's becoming friends with your body. So people who have had these nervous system overloads and whose systems are dysregulated will know these states, will know these feelings of complete numbness or dissociation or of complete overwhelming physiological intensity. And it feels very disempowering to be literally overpowered by your own biology. Once you can bring your mind in and your brain is like, hey, I know what's going on and it's cool, and you're able to work with that to support the nervous system. So once you understand its language, once you understand why these things are happening and how to regulate, how to make the energy of the nervous system flow more smoothly and freely and more consciously, everything can change. I'm going to be teaching this, making plenty more videos, but I just wanted to introduce you to this concept because I think it's easy for people to give themselves a really hard time. I try to meditate and I try to feel my sensations. I can't do it. I can't focus. I can't concentrate. I try to change my thoughts, but it's just impossible. I hate myself. And it really doesn't have to be this way. But for some of us, there are some other tools that are needed to make these other practices actually work for us. Hope this is helpful for you. And please, as ever, feel free to add some comments down in the section below or add your thoughts or your questions in the comments below. And I look forward to speaking and working and engaging with all of you more soon. Bye.